Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you don't know me, I'm Naninga Koei and welcome to my channel. This is my channel. I normally do fashion, beauty and fun videos. Basically, I'm not a serious person. Don't take this serious. But um, today I'm going to show you exactly how you can avoid fake products on Jumia. Yes. I know I've done a video about this before, but I realized that the video got a lot of views on the first like two days and then it just stopped growing and I went back and realized that the audio was really, really bad. And yet I know that this is valuable information because even me, I needed this information so badly um, after wasting a lot of money thinking I'm buying original products when actually they were fake. So this video is all about how you cannot waste your money buying fake products if you had the intention of buying original products. So without much to do or say, let's just get into the video and don't forget to subscribe and to like this video if you actually find this content valuable or if you, if you get anything from this video. The first tip that I'm going to tell you is that you should buy from an official distributor. Now Jumia is a platform like any other and when I say platform, it means it has a lot of sellers on it. So which means it's like Amazon or AliExpress or Wish and therefore it has different sellers selling different goods and you can find the same product being sold by very many different sellers. So make sure that you buy from the official store if you want an original product. I'm not trying to disregard the other sellers but if you're not sure, you know there are some cases where one is not sure whether they should buy something or not and if you're not sure about that, the best bet is to go to an official store because these are people who have been vetted by Jumia themselves. I believe, I don't work for Jumia, so I believe they've been vetted and they are actually either the official store or authorized distributor. So you're going to see a label on that seller's page saying authorized distributor or official store. So examples of official stores, for example, if you are in, oh, this is for the case of Jumia Kenya, if you want to purchase makeup, maybe if you want a Maybelline product, the L'Oreal official store is the one that is going to stock Maybelline products. If you are wanting to purchase Nivea products, the Nivea official store authorized distributor is the one who's going to sell Nivea stuff. So that is for people who are not sure, but definitely other companies like Carrefour and other companies like even Linton's, they do stock um, official like original products. So you just have to be careful. But if you're not, if yeah, they're that tech, product. you can find companies like Xiaomi have an official store, a company like Techno has an official store, so you can buy their products. But what about if these products happen not to have official stores? For example, I want to buy, buy MAC products, huh? I want to buy MAC products. I want to buy a MAC lipstick. What am I supposed to do? There is no MAC official distributor on Jumia. There is no MAC um, authorized store. What am I supposed to do? So the next tip is actually going to help you. You can look at, let me take my notepad. You can look at the seller score. Oh. Now, I don't work for Jumia and I'm going to repeat that. The seller score. Now, a seller score... <laughs> I don't know how it's calculated. And as I said, I'm going to repeat severally in this video. I do not work for Jumia. Therefore, I do not know how this seller score is calculated. However, 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 hear me out. That seller score is actually put on the seller's page, which means it's for the customers to see. And I don't know how it's calculated, but from my experience, people who have a higher seller score tend to be genuine people and therefore tend to stock original products. So make sure you look at the seller score that can guide you. Now these tips are not 100% effective, but they do act as a guide to avoiding fake products. And for those of you who've shopped on Jumia, you know that it's a platform. You know that it's like AliExpress. You know that you're going to get a fake. You know that you're going to get an original. You know that it's a mix of everything. So basically, 
there are some people who actually are looking for the fix because fix tend to be cheaper. But if you are looking for an original product, for example, makeup, and I'm telling you there's so much fake makeup on Jumia. Hey, 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 hey. So much fix. So you know why I'm doing this video. Like you're gonna find fake makeup definitely and you're gonna find also original makeup and for some of us who live in the village where we cannot walk into a beauty store and find an original product you know the problem you know the problem we need such platforms to actually sell original products oh. basically if the person has a high seller score like 90 percent to 100 percent from my experience they tend to have original products even 80 is not so bad but once you see 30 20 Ah, uh, have some question marks because probably either this person won't deliver the goods or this person will take so much time delivering the goods and more often than not they are fake so that is also another tip now tip number three i'm going to give you i'm actually reading from a notebook is actually to compare prices with the original um website for example if i want to purchase a revlon lipstick i head on over to my google page or my or to the website basically for Revlon, you leave the Jumia app and go over to the company's website of whatever product you want to purchase, whether it's an iPhone, whether it's a, what is it called? Whether it's a phone, a TV, um, um, makeup, but mostly my channel is about makeup. So I'll make references to makeup all the time. So head on over to the company's website of the product that you want to purchase. If it's a Revlon lipstick, I go ahead and over to Revlon, the website for Revlon, not just any website. It has to be the Revlon website. I look at the price of that product on Revlon and compare it to the price of what the product on Jumia is selling. And of course, I have to put into mind shipping costs. If Revlon is an American company, I know that Revlon does not manufacture in Kenya. This is just an example. I'm not sure whether they manufacture in Kenya Customs. or not. So if this product, you're looking at the price on the Revlon website is, for example, $20, which is actually 2,000 Kenya shillings. If you're seeing this product is 2,000 Kenya shillings on the Revlon website, remember that there'll be customs, which might make the product end up being like 2,500 Kenya shillings plus the profit of the person. So this product, by the time it reaches Kenya, it should be 3,000 Kenya shillings. But you're seeing it on the Jumia website at 200 Kenya shillings, at $2. And on the original website, it's $20. My friend, that is not an original. That is not an original. Will never be, has never been, even if the sale is going on or it's been marked down, that is not an original. So it's very safe to say that you can compare prices of the product from the original website and what is being sold by that seller. Not just on Jumia, because the sellers are different by that specific seller. Just compare. Just head on over. It won't take you time. It's better than losing your money if you want an original product. But if you want a fake hey we are allowed to do what we want we can even skip this video we are allowed to do that <laughs> price discrepancy is too yeah, high if you want a fake it's fine if the gap is too large that's a fake so the next thing that we are going to check is actually tip number four which is uh, this 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 is the most important tip on jumia it's the most important because you'll find a lot of these products labeled like that and also, if you are a seller and you know you fake, you sell fake products, there's nothing wrong with selling fake products. People need fake products. People want fake products. And some, that is, want fake products, not everyone. So if you know that you are a seller and you want to sell your fake Gucci, just do this. Put the label as generic. Generic Gucci. <laughs> I know in Africa, people are still, I mean, in Europe, those fakes are banned. But hey, you know, as you can see, I'm wearing <laughs> a Fendi <laughs> that I even thrifted. So I don't know whether it's it's original or fake. I have no clue. It's warm, that's all. And it's cold outside today. So uh, if the label is marked as generic, 
like that product, you go, you scroll, you scroll, you find some cute makeup palette, um, written something like Anastasia Beverly Hills. And then in down there in blue, it's written generic. We all know what generic means. Generic means fake or basically a knockoff or basically not the original. It doesn't really mean fake, but it doesn't mean the original, okay? So if it's labeled as generic, oh, there's a fly, guys. Forgive me, but there are so many cows outside and cows always bring flies. So you guys have to just understand that I'm an African. Yeah. They're not coming to feed on my saliva. They're not coming to feed on anything. They're on the cows. And the cows are right there outside. So anyway, um, so if it is labeled as generic, guys, that is not an original product because you have even been told by the seller, like, buy this product knowing that it is a fake. It's generic. Yeah, that's what the seller is trying to tell you. So anything labeled as generic, it means that it is not the original. So if you see an electronic marked as generic, know that it is not the original company. If you see a Sony camera marked as generic, it's not an original Sony, it's a fake. So that is the most important that I can tell you. And I think I even missed it in that other video. That's why I even decided to do again this video. So the next tip that I'm going to give you, I don't want this to be a really, really long video. So I'm going to give you is that you can compare the, the products that the seller is selling. For example, if I'm a seller or if you go to the seller's shop, like, for example, I've seen I want an uh, what? Maybe I want a Colgate toothpaste. Yes, I know that's a weird thing, but I've just seen a Colgate toothpaste right there in front of me. Then I was like, if I want a Colgate toothpaste, I search for Colgate toothpaste on Jumia, right? I find so many sellers selling Colgate toothpaste. Now, I click on one of the Colgate toothpaste, and I'm not sure that this Colgate toothpaste is an original. What do I do? After maybe I haven't been able to see the label as generic, I haven't compared prices with the original website, or maybe the prices are confusing. This seller has marked it exorbitantly, or so you're not sure. Eh? What you can do is that you can go into the store of the seller. So click on that toothpaste and go into the store of the seller. Check the other products that this seller is selling. For most cases, the stuff that is created into fakes or knockoffs are usually stuff that is manufactured in the US or in Europe. They're the ones that end up getting knocked off like nobody's business. <laughs> so by the time you're seeing like a seller has one thing that the that is made from the US and the rest of the products are made in China, you got a question. You got a question that's done. You can compare basically all the other products that are in that store. Just compare. Like, you cannot have imported one thing from the United States and all the rest you imported from China. No, chances are high you imported all of them from China and therefore it's not an original American product and vice versa. Yeah. If the seller has products from, from the USA, and no, if the seller has like, if what you want is from China, which I doubt, if what you want is from China and the rest is like from the US, obviously that person got it from the US, not from China. So you get my point. I hope I've put that message across well. Just compare all the other products. Like, are they from the similar place? Like, because most sellers will like pick a place that they always import from. Like I've seen sellers who maybe import from the UK, sellers who import from the US, sellers who import from China. So if there's a discrepancy, like one product is from the US and then the rest are from China, chances are high that all of them are from China and therefore it's a fake. Yeah, I hope that has come across well. Just look at the other thing. in the store compare prices go to the website of that product compare prices 
check um, what is it called if that item has an authorized distributor and go there instead of wasting your time and yeah so basically that is all i can advise you just to avoid fake products because we know what fakes can do fakes can cause somebody to go blind fake makeup can cause you to go blind fake makeup can cause you to peel your lips fake makeup can do so many things so make sure that you're buying original i'm not i mean our economy is bad guys but try at least yeah after so, all this thank you so much guys for watching i hope you got something and i'll see you in my next video don't forget to subscribe <laughs> thank you so much for watching honestly don't forget to subscribe and to like bye